So, hey, Bobby Bike, thanks very much for cool. joining us here. Um, yeah, no problem. Uh, so you've got a new release uh, out that was just, what, on Friday? Yeah, yeah, a few days ago now. So uh, it wasn't that long ago that I noticed uh, BMX for Life was available, and then all of a sudden, Life Behind Bars, it must only be, what, six months difference? So you're quite prolific with the BMX yeah. songs. Yeah, you know, I... Um... Yeah, I busted out a BMX for life, and um, I think uh, I just had some downtime. I I, I got uh, the first song I wrote was "I Got Love" off the new album, and I was thinking of just putting that out as a single because I was like, I don't, I don't know if I can just write a bunch of more songs and put another album. But I, I just got in the groove, and I was, you know, I got a couple messages of people like, "Hey, thanks, you know, like keep writing songs and this," and it kind of motivated me a little more, and. Um, yeah, before I knew it, I had a couple songs, and then, you know, when I got to, like, four or five songs, I was like, all right, I just got to bust this out, and, um, yeah, really, I, I I wrote the whole thing in probably just, like, three months, and um, I kind of wasn't planning on, yeah, releasing another album so quickly, um, but, uh, yeah, you know, when music, when the bug hits you, you just got to go for it, and the creative juice is flowing, so, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I've, I'm I'm proud with it. It wasn't something that, you know, I just kind of uh, threw together. You know, I, I get some ideas that don't quite make it. Um, but, um, yeah, I think all these songs uh, came out pretty good. So, What's your favorite song off um, Life Behind uh, Bars? Mine is probably a Fly. Um, it was one of the last, I think it was actually the last song I wrote on it. Um, I just kind of felt like it needed a little more of a... Uh, uh i don't know kind of alternative style a song um but yeah you know when it first uh i was kind of predicting with family and friends you know what songs would be the most popular um most of the people i play you know i've kind of uh, when i was writing it like mama sito is kind of like a really catchy one people kind of gravitated towards um and uh pedal 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 as well i kind of figure uh, I could I could see uh kind of kid younger kids really liking that one a little more um and then there's just some fun ones you know like dirty girls just kind of I brought some some people in just kind of had some fun with that um but yeah I, I'd say flies probably in there I got love is probably still in like my top three uh freestyle like a reptile is is kind of fun I was trying to kind of uh uh, capture a little bit of a Rage Against the Machine type of sound and just a lot of guitars. Um, and so that one was kind of like a little different one than I've really done. So that was fun. And that's the hardest thing, just trying to get songs that don't all sound the same, get a good variety in there. Um, you know, I brought a couple of slow ones, you know, you got um, Whole Shot Honey, is kind of just a piano medley and acoustic guitar. And so... Um, yeah, I just try to mix up, but um, yeah, I don't know. Have you been able to listen to much? You got any favorites yet, or? Um, Sweet Sesh, I think, is a is a favorite yeah. of mine. Kind yeah. of instantly hit me because I'm always I've got a backyard track and I'm always riding it and always playing music and yeah. always looking for that Sweet Sesh. So yeah, yeah, when I heard that, I just thought, oh. and I think you might have seen. I posted on Instagram and quoted from it. It was cool. Yeah, and and one thing I was trying to go. You know, my uh, background is mainly BMX, a little bit of motocross, and um, and I I do want to kind of I don't want to pigeonhole into BMX, and so yeah, you know, Sweet Sesh is hopefully something that you know mountain bikers, uh, mm. motocross, just any any bike genre can kind of hit up. You know, unlike pedal pedal pedal, which you know, kind of more to BMX racing style, um, and so yeah, I tried to kind of diversify i've got a lot of mountain bike followers and so i'm uh i haven't really gotten much into writing any songs about mountain biking or downhill stuff but uh so yeah i kind of like the like sweet sessions hopefully it just kind of hits hits any type of writer no matter what they're into well i think um all your songs pretty much encapsulate like the feeling of being a bmx racer and um some of them even motivating i mean the kind of field song and uh, yeah 
Thanks. It would kind of be your favorite rider. Is that why you picked on him specifically? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I kind of grew up uh, around him. Um, yeah, I met him several times, and uh, we're kind of from the same, uh, uh, you know, uh, southwest area of the United States, and so, um, and yeah, it, it was he was kind of just a fun uh, song. Song re- re- uh, recommend. I should write a song about at least post or something. And I was just like, you know, I I uh, <laughs> I don't want to get too many songs about uh, different writers, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I was just kind of uh, I don't know. One day I was like, yeah, I should write a song about Connor Fields, and <laughs> it's uh, it kind of just yeah, funny joke. But do you know if he's heard it? Uh, I. Pretty sure he has, but I, he's no, he hasn't contacted me or anything. Uh, um, and uh, um, yeah. Um, uh, sorry, I, I noticed there's a lot more guitar on um, Life Behind Bars. Is that um, an instrument you play? And yeah, it... um, so I pretty much play a little bit of everything. Um, I, I I started piano when I was young, um, and then I got in the drums, and, and then guitar was kind of the last instrument, just because it kind of uh, looked like the hardest one to learn. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm kind of a mediocre player at everything, but I, I'm, you know, I know enough to uh, get my way around all the instruments. And so it's it's nice. It's, I don't have to rely on other people to come in and record. I can kind of just do it all myself. Um, I played in, uh, I've been in a couple different bands and uh, mainly did guitars in those. Um, and so, so yeah, guitar, uh, I, I I try and uh, bring that in when I can, but uh, most likely you won't hear me just shredding around, uh, still working on on those kind of chops. But um, but yeah, I, I just trying to who knows what's what's next. I might bring in a banjo one day or uh, <laughs> lock and spiel or bagpipes. Like I don't know. I just I just have fun with it and be creative. <laughs> Uh, no accordion, you're not going to take over from... Oh, yeah, no, I've got one here in my music room, an accordion, so that's a good <laughs> idea. I'm going to bring that in one day. <laughs> um, so what's next? Do, uh, do we expect more BMX songs? Do you think you might yeah. diversify? Uh, my next goal, I, I'm i hoping this year, uh, probably will most likely do like a, a one or two singles, and I'm hoping to do some collabs. I've got a couple people that... Um, that are interested in doing some collaborations. One's a, uh, a motocross, uh, freestyle motocross rider, um, well-known person. So, uh, so I just kind of have some fun with some collabs. And even if, you know, they can't sing, just be like, hey, we'll, we'll get you doing something, uh, get them involved. And so, uh, so yeah, most likely one or two singles uh, this year. Um, hoping to uh, do a music video, uh, most likely to fly. I'm going to go film some uh, dirt bike and some just some jump in might have lost you some, yeah oh, some yeah. BMX stuff some writing and so uh hoping to maybe do music like a sweet little music video so have you got some music videos already i think i saw so, something with hand well, puppets. just like uh, lyric videos is kind of all i've been doing right now so yeah this would be like a like a full-on uh yeah full-on kind of music oh. video so a little more intense and hopefully uh you have some fun with it um uh, I, if i do fly i think one shot i want to like take take the drums out uh into the desert and kind of do a cool little drum shot there um and uh and yeah just uh not yeah just kind of more just riding it and um Mama Sita would be another fun uh fun music video to do uh, so i might try and tackle uh, that this year as well so <laughs> Uh, so yeah, just uh... so so. What is your BMX background? Um, how come you've got all these songs about BMXing? Yeah, I've started when I was young. I mean, BMX has pretty much been my life. Um, uh, just cruising around the United States, hitting nationals. Um, I took a couple year break, doing uh, d- uh, racing dirt bikes and doing motocross, and, and then I'm uh, back in full swing into motor into uh, BMX and hitting the and these nationals over here i've got one next weekend in phoenix arizona uh so yeah just kind of training and um just going back at it man <laughs> so there must be it must be quite a juggle i'm sure that's not the only thing you do like um yeah, yeah i've got a job day job and um <laughs> so yeah writing music 
BMX and uh, job to pay the bills and um, but life's all good. A little bit of time to chill here and there. So it's almost it's almost like uh, COVID wouldn't have affected your life. You would have always found yeah, something. You know, yeah, it's the funny. Um, the whole start of Bobby Bike was kind of during COVID. I was watching. Uh, was watching uh robin big i don't know if you remember uh, rob dyrdek he's a uh he's a uh professional skateboarder and he had a show his first show on mtv it's called robin big and it was him and his uh his buddy big black uh kind of his bodyguard anyways it was an old show it was on mtv a while ago there's like two or three seasons but anyways uh, one of the seasons this was probably back in march or so last year february march anyways one of the seasons he uh he creates this persona called Bobby Light, and he he writes this one hit wonder. He kind of he gets a costume and he he kind of goes incognito, and he creates this person called Bobby Light. They record a song and just kind of have fun with it. Um, and anyways, I was I watched that and I just for some reason I got the idea, dude, I should do something like <laughs> like that. Just create this this uh. This person and I had to you know, call him Bobby Bike and he writes songs and he's a writer and and no one knows who he is. Um and so that's kinda how it all started. I, I forgot the episode, but yeah, Rob Deerdeck inspired it with one of his episodes. Um and it was actually like within that, that last first couple of days, the uh the ride my bike song just I got in my head, I was like, ride my bike, ride my bike from that first album. And that was like I was just like, I'm gonna write a song called Ride My Bike. And that was the first song I wrote in there. And then, you know, I just, it was kind of took off from there. So it's just been fun ever since. Um, I think it's Ride or Die. It sounds very much a, a COVID song. It, yeah, it was... yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, the first version actually had in the beginning uh, dialogue. I had COVID in there. Like, I'm, you know, COVID, I'm going crazy here with COVID or something like that. And I kind of had in there. And then I was like, you know, it, maybe in, four or five years COVID is going to be thinking of the past and I didn't want to kind of put a time stamp on it and so I ended up uh, cutting it out but yeah it's very much a, a COVID song <laughs> I kind of I know the uh the whole feeling of you know being locked up and not being oh, able to yeah. go right just like every other BMX yeah yeah it's uh <clears throat> I, I I fortunately got places to ride here um so it hasn't affected me I've got a, a local track that I can use anytime um but yeah just from hearing people's stories some some of them just are can't race can't ride and i feel bad for them <laughs> yeah um so a funny story when i first started playing bmx for life um i got a six-year-old daughter she's not really into bmx at all but um you know she's surrounded mm -hmm. by it because i'm almost uh obsessed i think to use one of your own words from one of your songs but yeah, um yeah. i think she heard a lot of trophies Oh and yeah, she was instantly attracted to it. Just, I think it could be just the age of the girl that you sampled, yeah. or it might have been what she was saying. But uh, it, it almost sounded like um, she was going to start riding a bike as soon as she heard that song. Do you, do you yeah. get much of a reaction from your songs like that? Yeah, you know, I I try and um, I've got kids and quite a few of my songs. Try and get some kid voices in there because I just kind of want to keep these songs fun and light. Um, and um, so yeah, so that song, um, yeah, ride or die. I've got kind of you know some kids in that song, just kind of make it fun, a little bit in pedal, 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 um, and ride my bike. But yeah, it's uh, uh, a lot of trophies. Probably the easiest song I've ever written. It it Ooh. literally is like it's got like four tracks on it, <laughs> and uh, so not much. Uh, but it just it just kind of uh, felt right and. Um, yeah, I, lo I love that song. So, um, there was the one with Berlin Harris in it too. Uh, uh huh. I, I can't remember what, what that one's called. Um, yeah, uh, give me a shot. Give me a shot. Yeah. So the Berlin Harris thing sounds like you know coaching motivation, but give me yeah. a shot's almost about getting sponsorship. Is, is that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I I kind of had a give me a shot. Um, most of it was written and recorded, and then and then I talked to Berlin. And I was I was like, just do some talking on this song, you know. And so, and I just I was just like, hey, just say whatever you want. What comes to it. and he just kind of one take, just spouted out some motivational stuff, and and I kind of cut it around and pasted it in and out. Um, and um, 
so yeah but it, it does tie in together in that it is a motivational song um and uh yeah i guess i guess i kind of picture maybe a kid at like the bike park and everyone's kind of uh dismissing him or something and he's just like hey give me a shot like see what i you know see mm. what i got and sh i'll show you what i can do and um uh so yeah that kind of uh yeah, you know, some of these ideas, I just, I get an idea and I just run with it. I, yeah. If I think too hard about it, then uh, <laughs> I overthink it and it gets to, you know, like Mamacita, like there's really no rhyme and reason to that song. I was just, I wrote it in like five minutes and I was just like, hey, this rhymes and this rhymes and it's just <laughs> like, uh, and <laughs> it's just, uh, it's, it's fun. It, it's great. I mean, um, I tried to explain the music to a couple of people yesterday and I, Hate mm -hmm. pigeonholing, so I wouldn't say it was rap or you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'd actually say it's just uh, fun songs about BMX. You know, yeah, I, I don't yeah. think you can explain uh, it any other way, really, can you? Yeah, and I, 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 I want to. Yeah, who knows where I might write a country song. I might, you know, just. Uh, but yeah, obviously, kind of my past uh, music genres are kind of bleeding into a lot of this, um, as far as just rock, alternative. Uh, maybe a little bit electronic, a uh, little bit of rap. I, I love like 90s rap. And so um, maybe deep down, I always want to be a rapper. I never have really rapped any of my bands. It's just kind of something that, uh, you know, and I, again, when I kind of thought of Bobby Bike, I was, I, I pictured him as a, uh, you know, someone with like a big ego and he just has a lot to tell the world. And he, uh, you know, he thinks he's the shiz. And he uh, just, so I kind of run with that, which isn't obviously kind of uh, me uh, personally. I'm a lot more humble, but, you know, I kind of got to keep Bobby Bike, uh, keep him just rolling hard and uh, thinks he's uh, the best rapper in the world, <laughs> even though he's not. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Sorry, I can keep talking for ages, but what <laughs> I might do is... Um... I'll get you to tell us how people can listen to your music. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, my, my only uh, social media right now is just Instagram. That's, I haven't, I, I got sick of Facebook and so I don't do much on there. Um, but you know, maybe one day I'll get on there and, uh, and then, um, you know, I just started a YouTube channel. I'll get some videos up there when I, uh, I actually do have a couple of the lyric videos that I posted, um, on Instagram on there. And so, and obviously when I get, uh, some music videos done, they'll be on there. Um, uh, but yeah, I, iTunes, Spotify, you know, all the, all the platforms, you could pretty much, uh, find Bobby bike songs. Um, and, um, and yeah, for up to date stuff, Instagram's my main, just kind of, uh, trying to keep up on, on stuff from there and, and communicate with others. And, uh, uh, May one day I'll get a website. I don't know. I, I that's uh, too far down the road. So, uh, but yeah, I uh, Bobby Bike. There, there is a when I first looked at the name. I think there's a Bobby Bikes uh, a bike shop in Chicago uh, called Bobby Bikes or something like that. And so, so they kind of show up in the Googles uh, a bit in the top. And so that's who I'm competing with as far as the name goes. But uh, <laughs> fortunately, you know, musicians, uh, there's no Bobby Bike, and so um, I'm not competing with anyone there. So you should. Should be able to find uh, find my stuff pretty easily on those on all that stuff. So, what's the best way for people to support you if they want to hear more music? Do they do they go and buy the tunes on iTunes or? Yeah, you... I just listen. You know, I'm I'm not. Uh, this isn't uh, a money uh, thing for me. It's just a fun thing. And so, you know, shoot me a message or comment, um, an email. I don't know if I have my email. I might uh, on a. Anything, but yeah, Bobby Bike BMX at Gmail. Um, so yeah, I just love hearing the stories. I love uh, watching people's videos that kind of uh, you know plug in my songs to them and stuff. Um, and um, and also uh, you know it's fun. I've been to a couple of races where they're playing at the tracks and stuff, you know, and and it's just fun watching people kind of recognize it or sing along and dance. Um, and so just kind of getting get getting it out. There's uh, is what brings me brings me joy and hearing some fun stories. A lot of parents will message me and say, "Hey, my kid loves you, and he's you know young and he just listens to you all the time and before races." And so, uh, yeah, that stuff's I love it. I think it's awesome. It's probably the first BMX album or two BMX albums yeah. 
you'll hear people play since the Rad soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, it, it is a small niche, and uh, it's, <laughs> so um, it's uh, yeah, just kind of roll with it. Um, all right, I, like I said, I mean, I, I got a ton more questions. What I think I might do is. Um, come back to you in a, in a bit down the track, and we'll talk to you again if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, anytime, man. I'm more, more, uh, more, and open to it. And um, yeah, appreciate you reaching out. Good stuff. So appreciate thanks very you. much, and, and good luck with the new release. Okay, all right. Thanks, Shane. <laughs>